In the first video on AHP, I have shown how to derive weight for each criteria using pairwise matrix. So we have used finally this matrix and how to create this pairwise matrix you can see in the first video. So basically we calculate the principal eigenvector of the pairwise matrix, this matrix and use it as a weight for each criteria. So in this method what we have done, we have normalized each element. See this, this is a division of this element divided by the sum. So we have normalized each element of this matrix and then got the average of each row as the principal eigenvector. So this method is very basic and this is only an approximation of the principal eigenvector and may deviate in case of inconsistent matrices. There are other methods which are more accurate in Excel which will give you better approximation of the principal eigenvector and are more robust for inconsistent matrices. This method will not be sufficient in case of inconsistent matrices. So we will go to the first alternate method that is power method. So this is the matrix pairwise matrix then first what we are doing we will square the pairwise matrix this matrix we will be getting a square here then we will sum each row of the resulted matrix here it will be summed then here we will get the sum of this column this vector and normalize this vector with the sum then we will repeat this again now we will be using this matrix and square it and we will get the sum and normalized weight now we will be getting a difference of this element by this element this element and this element and we will be iterating this till this difference is near to zero suppose maybe up to six digit of the decimal so we will start it simply what we have to do we have to just select your any six by six column uh, six by six cells here and then in the formula bar just write equal to mm ult means matrix multiplication and then you have to provide two arrow means two times we will be providing the same matrix or array so this is the one time then again after comma second time and then press the key control shift and enter at work. control shift enter so this is your square of this matrix so we can now sum all the rows like this and then sum this. Now we can normalize it by dividing this, the first element of the vector divided by this and since you have to fix this cell, just add dollar and dollar two times. Now we can, we will getting a vector like this. So this is the new weight. When 0 0.4642, earlier it was 0.45. So still we have not got the final weightage. We will repeat it now. So now again we will be taking this, selecting this. 6 by 6 cells and again same formula we will be writing is equal to mm ult and now this time we will be selecting this matrix comma and then again the same matrix and then control shift enter again we are taking some this sum 
then normalize by using by dividing with the sum sum of the element of this vector now we will be getting the difference from this minus this just drag it so now you see it is up to two decimal places you will get zero zero we need to have up to four five or six decimals so again we will be repeating it select this cell six by six cell equal to mm ULT select this array comma again select same array and control shift enter get the sum and then normalize again divide dividing this element by the sum and don't forget to use this dollar dollar here this will fix this cell this cell now again we will take the difference is equal to this minus this say up to four decimal the value is zero will iterate it again select six by six cells then equal to comma again select the same matrix then control shift enter then sum sum of each row then sum of the entire vector then equal to this divided by the sum now again this minus this so now up to six decimal we are having zero zero values so we can take these as a final weightage so now how it is it has changed it is 0 0.4625 then 0.1347 and 0.209 earlier 0 0.45 0.14 and 204 now we will be calculating these things also here so we will get the original matrix here then we will get this as a weight only values we need so this is our weight and then we will be calculating the lambda here it was weight <coughs> so this lambda will be again matrix multiplication so better lambda will be calculating later first we will calculate a into w means this matrix a and this weight so just simply go to mm ult select this array oh so first 
we will be selecting the entire this six cells and then again right here equal to mm ult select this array comma and then this array and again control shift enter then lambda will be this divided by this. see during AHP it is needed that this lambda lambda means this matrix and this weight divided by weight should be equal to number of the criteria so it should be near to 6 here it is 6.12 to 6.52 here you will get all lambda is same equal so again consistency index we will be calculating this will be equal to any of this because the lambda max will be all are similar so you can use any lambda then minus 6 means n divided by n minus minus means 5 so ci is 5 then for n is equal to 6 the reference inconsistency index is 1.24 and then consistency ratio is equal to this this divided by this point zero four eight earlier in the earlier method it was point zero nine seven so this weight is is more consistent now so since we are having with this method we have got almost equal to 1, 0.1 consistency ratio. If it is more than 0.1 then this method will not be sufficient. It is better to get this method, to use this method. So now, now we will go for the second method using the solver solver is add in here in the data you will find solver if it is not available you go to excel options and then in the add in you will find here solver so just you can select suppose i am installing this person name you will get this add in installed and then you can use it so here again what we are doing we will be first assigning any weight to all the, to these criteria but it should be non negative and more equal to the sum sum should be equal one then we will be getting a same using mm ult a into w means the a is the matrix and then w is the weight so we will be getting mm ult this array comma this vector weight vector and you will get you have to enter control shift enter so we will get this I will be doing it again select this in the formula var type the equal to mm ult select this array 6 by 6 then comma and this array and then control shift enter now we will be getting a w by w so just divide it a w by w and then we will be getting a variance of this array simply using formula v a r p and k 3 to k 8 now 
the objective of this getting the approximating the principal eigen vector is to minimize this variance so you go to solver here and we have this is our target cell so target cell you can set like this then minimum and then by changing cells so what we are we, uh, our target is to change this so that the variance is minimum so we will be taking these cells and then we will be adding some constant one constant is this should be more than equal to zero means it should not be negative weight so we will add here select the cell reference like this and it should be more than equal to what zero then okay so one constant we have added again this sum should be one so again one more constant we will be adding add this cell is equal to 1 and then click ok so now two constants we have added now if you are clicking on solve it it has see it has changed everything again we have got this lambda this is lambda nothing else this is the lambda one a w by w so it has changed this it has changed the weight also and weight is constant by every each element should be more than zero and the summation should be one now you can keep solver solution this as a final vector or you can restore original values and you can have report like this answers sensitivity limit so now we can keep the solver solution or if you want restore the original value and select these all to rep to get reports so each these three there will be three new seats opened opening and you will find answers reports these reports of sensitivity limits and answers so better here I am keeping only the solver solution so click ok so these are my weights for each criteria so it will be equivalent to the values obtained in this method so these two methods this is power method and this using solver is more near to the principal eigenvector if you want to calculate the true principal eigenvector you have to use either any of the programming language like R, Python or MATLAB so in the next video I will, exp I will be explaining how to do it in these softwares like R or Python or MATLAB thank you for watching